hi welcome to my channel today we are going to make these lovers please don't skip this video this video is well edited to contain only the parts that are essential for your learning now let's get to work enough of shit chat welcome back the first thing we must do in making sure is to get our sketching. As usual, you are going to divide your last into two to make sure it's well you divide it into two equally. And make sure from the back it's six centimeter and make sure it's slanty. As you can see, we don't want to waste your time. You can just screenshot this and use it to sketch your own. You have to sketch three things and this is it over there. So you fold your paper or cardboard into two. Make sure the material you are using is a bit hard. So you fold it into two. You put your pattern, which is what we sketch on the last. I'm trying to give it 0 0.5 centimeter at the back. That's the part I will fold. Then you give it excess. That's about excess of three centimeter. You know this lovers has design at the front. So if you observe from the what we sketch on that last the, the sign at the front i try to mark where i'm going to put it where i'm going to put it on my leather so i punched it so I, in order for me to get it right so this slanty part when you put it on your cardboard, it may be a little bit rough, so I use roller to get it to make sure it's very straight so that I can get good work at the end of the day. So I'm just trying to demonstrate where that design of the front would be. So one part will contain buckle, the other side will not contain buckle. Please do subscribe to my channel. So I'm trying to use ruler. demonstrating here on how we can get the pattern that design at the front that it is not necessary for you to sketch that pattern you can only do that if you are pro there are so many ways you can get it but for beginner you can do it this way you know i punch it so that i can get the the length and the width of the design so i put another paper underneath it so in order for me to get the actual length you can you can simply use ruler or your tape rule to get it right but one thing that is important is for you after doing everything is for you to demonstrate on your pattern if what you have done so far is right or not so that's it over there um, 
I try to make sure everything is correct. So I put it on my pattern again. And when it comes when it comes to life, you understand what is being done here. So in order for you to do this, you have to also get the measurement of your buckle, the buckle that you want to use. In this case, the width of the buckle that I want to use is 1.5 centimeter. I'm going to use I'm going to use two buckles each. So each of them is 1.5 centimeter. So that's it. I'm trying to demonstrate so that it won't be too wide for the buckle. Just for me to demonstrate to you though, I know the the width of the buckle, but for the purpose of learning, I have to demonstrate so that you can learn from this also. That's it over there. I'm going to use the close shot of what we have done so far. As you can see, it's easier if you do it this way. The next thing is to get our leather and cut it out. That's it over there. You can see the top will give it excess. Because we are going to fold that part at the front. That's why we give it excess. And the other part, the front will lap on, we give it excess too. All this must you must have marked it from your pattern from when you are sketching your pattern. So apply gum in order for me to fold it. So we let it dry a little bit, about 10 to 15 centimeter centimeter depending on the room temperature. So then you fold it. And use armor to eat it a little bit so that it can be soft a little bit. Especially if you are so I'm showing you where I want to sew. So I'm trying to get our inner leather. There are so many ways of doing this. You can either do it this way or do it another way. So the other way you can do this is in our coming tutorial please don't miss it so i'm trying to, i reduce six centimeter it's just like plus and minus thing of a thing very simple mathematics and minus six centimeter from the whole pattern in order for me to join it at the back so that six centimeter that i minus each that is 12 centimeter I'm going to get another 12 centimeter, including the excess. So I always try to mark the middle. Once you mark the middle, you can go on. That's the other part of 12 centimeter that I cut. So that I can make a wall pattern. So I try to join it all together. There are so many ways of joining your inner leather at the back. You can do it this way or you can do it fully and join it the way you, you, you can simply join it the way you what you did to your leather. You can do the same thing to your inner leather also. So these are back strap. So I'm trying to get a backstrap. Backstrap can be in many forms. You can decide to do it in many ways. There are so many backstraps. You can get a picture of that anyway. So many. You can get a tiny one. You can get a white one. In this case, we don't want to use the one that's 
it's too wide or too tiny. I think the bar strap of this is 2 cm at the top and 3 cm at the bottom. So I try to fold the bag. When you apply gum, then you fold it. So we put our bag strap. The next thing is for us to put uh, the taping at the edge. Now the taping at the edge. So you get the measurements. I think mine is 35 centimeter. Yours may not be the same depending on the kind of size or the last you are using. So and the width of this is 2.8 centimeter. I'm trying to give it a bit of curve so that it will to look more fashionable. It is you have that cuff at the edge. So then you sew it afterwards. Before that, you have to apply gum. I'm trying to apply gum at the edge of this. Of my main leather and the inner parts so you just apply a little bit of gum so that your work will be neater you don't want to waste your time that's why we fast forward this then you put the two together. After putting the two together, you can cut, add, cut out the excess. You cut out the excess. So I'm trying to put my the tip is how you're going to put it and you sew it that way. You put it on the machine, then you sew it. I'm just demonstrating that to you. So we've stitched that. The next is to cut out the remaining excess. After cutting out the, the excess, I'm going to apply gum. So you apply gum on the inner part and the, make sure you don't apply gum that is beyond where I apply my gum just a little bit, don't let it extend too much. At least 1.5 centimeter. So then you fold it, you allow it to dry a little bit, and you start folding it. Just follow the way it is being done in this video, then you will get it right. That's it over there. So we want to put our back stay. That is how to put your back stay.
then in this case you don't allow it to dry As you apply gum, then you do it immediately. So we are almost done with the upper part. The next thing is to put our front design then you apply gum and put it there before you stitch you have to ensure it is well balanced and that's what I'm trying to do there apply gum and make sure everything is okay before I stitch So, I'm just showing you, I put my pattern in order for me to get the middle. Though, this, you can do this when you are sketching your pattern, it does not matter. The only thing that matters is make sure the, your work comes out right. everything can be pre-planned you can do it afterwards after all you still have your pattern but you must be very careful not for you not to make mistakes then I punched it so <coughs> once you have this you can use that your second for the second leg of your shoe so the next thing is we've done with the upper parts the next thing is our insole if you want to insole is very easier to get but we've done this extensively in our last class Don't want to sound like a broken record so you can check that out it's on our playlist the next thing is lasting the last the upper part on the last is well tight so that it won't lose when it is being worn so you put your front stay allow it to dry depending on the temperature of the environment you are
is to subscribe we are almost done so ensure you fold the front part of your shoe and make sure that part that is folded is not showing when you put your when you finally put your, your sole we're going to use pre-made sole for this now let's in our next class we are going to be sole from the scratch so make sure you put on notification so that you can see this you can see when it comes out scratch it then where you mark then you apply gum so you allow it to dry for about 10 to 15 minutes then you carefully put your sole on the upper part of the shoe So we are done with the upper parts and this is the final result. You can see the inner part is very neat, very clean. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much. God bless.